What up, people? Um, welcome to my page. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. So, um, I came across this video of this guy in some country. I don't know the exact name of the country, but um, he's claiming that uh, moringa trees produce electricity. And um, he's showing an example by um, actually powering up a um, light bulb and powering up a grinder. And I'm a little skeptical. But at the same time, you know, nature has a lot of unknowns. You know, there are still a lot of undiscovered things dealing with nature, you know. Um, so just check it out, you know, and um, please feel free to comment and tell me what you think. And we also do agricultural devices, which we call iPod. You can check that on Facebook. So in connection with that, we started to grow moringa trees a while ago for food as you can see all our moringa trees are here grown for food and harvested for food that we share with the community so one day when i was climbing the tree yeah. it had an injury like this one here and i was climbing it and i felt uh, like an electric shock almost like an electric fence you know from uh, the elephant fence or cattle fence Oh, really? Yeah, so really. So I had the idea, I called my electrician and we measured and in fact we could measure a current in the tree. Here, please, Fundi. Tafadali, here. Show us how exactly there is here, you poke just the electrode right in the tree. You have to go in the flesh of the tree and immediately now Hold on. Here, that you see, I'm not joking. This tree is currently delivering 25 volts DC current. And please, I'm not joking or telling you stories here. Yeah, this is a real, this is just a tree. This is my probe. Okay. So you want to see that again, please on camera. Oh, you, you are a grown-up African man. Please tell your fellow one inch. Yeah, it is true. What, the, what he's saying is true. You can plug it anywhere from the tree. You get this voltage you need. There as much as 240 volts you get. It. So Just now, now once we figured that out, I went and I checked what makes this tree gain in electricity, and then we figured it's making more power in the day, isn't it, yep. than at night. So one day, Fundi and me, we came, we took our electrical wire. So a similar solar panel. So just an electrical wire, round our tree, nicely, like that. Tight. Yeah, it helps. If, before you put your wire, you really, really scratch the skin of the tree. And it helps if you keep a distance between your wires, like... Mm, Hard to say how much space you will need. It depends also, let's say up here I will try. That looks to me, you see this car in the tree? Yeah. Where the tree have those cars. That's where they produce the most of power, categorically. Yeah? So that is where you can get up to 280 volt, even AC. But lunchtime when it requires full sun so yeah now here we are this is our probes now uh, electrical connectors now we should be able to measure the current or we can run a light bulb or a grinder which we are going to do for you in a second okay uh, how long is it ago that we discovered these trees can make so much power so I mean to be running a grinder it got to be producing a lot of power you know and um he said that um it actually produced uh, more power during the day so it's similar to like uh, solar panels you know um very interesting last year. last year I believe it's about like 12 months now that we discovered so now, of course, I have both wires on. So here, careful. You see that? This is now 220 volt DC. 
You can check here, there is no wires going to the tree or whatsoever. Here, fully, just show the people. Here, this is a grinder. This is the light, Steve, show the tree. Yeah, you can see, guys, it's just a tree, a normal Moringa tree, and then the Kundiki puts a strap around with the right distance. That was, it took us, we have tried a thousand times, guys, even before we figured that in the day we can run a grinder and in the night we can run a light bulb. All our security lights here in our shop, everything here runs off these trees. Now we connect the angle grinder. Here, can you please connect it for me? So, now you can see it is uh, 2 o'clock lunchtime, bright sunlight. Mm -hmm. yeah? So, we will see if we get now an angle grinder to run. Yeah! Now here, oh, this is now, this is now, this is now, this is now serious power, guys. Yeah? This is serious power. Wow! Look, even the electric, oh! Yeah? So, fantastic. So, what we did now for the community, what we did now for the community, you can also show here. Yeah, it's fed, yeah? You can even feel it. Yeah, you can feel it, yeah. You can hear it. You can hear it? Yeah. The power, yeah. zooming. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing, yeah? <laughs> yes, it is. People have to be careful when you tell your children not to climb these trees. Here, where there is no skin, there is lots of power, guys. It runs an angle grinder. So, and of course, uh, our security lights at night. That is a very easy thing. Here, zack. Yeah, light on. You can charge batteries and you can charge phones. Sign up! Everyone can charge their phones here for free. Yeah? Uh, from the power of the tree. That is from mornings, 9 o'clock, till about 6 in the evening when the sunset. You can charge two phones and now you can charge one. All in? Yeah, you see? There it is. So, lovely. Yeah? Free charge. Wait here, I show Wait, wait. So I'm gonna stop it right here. So I find that pretty amazing. Um, I'm gonna have to try to find me a moringa tree and do it. Um, and do some testing myself, you know. Um, but uh, this is you know amazing if it is true, you know. But you know, uh, please feel free to you know share your thoughts on this. And um, if you like my content, please follow. Anywho, I'm out. Peace.